Welcome to your 8 minute ab and oblique workout. We're going to start with 15 seconds of wrist circles. Go in one direction first and then switch. Next, come into plank and just hold it. You can modify this by placing your knees onto the mat. Keep your core engaged and press the mat away to spread your shoulder blades wide. Let's make this plank a little bit harder. Bring your right leg to the right side, tap, bring it in, tap and right knee to the right elbow, other side, left leg out, in and left knee to left elbow. Keep going, switching sides and for modification you can come to your tabletop position and do the same movement. Great, short break, release your knees and come onto your forearms. Then come to your forearm side plank on the right side and let's do hip dips, lowering the hip down and lifting up. You can modify this by keeping your knees on the mat. Now release your knees to the mat and we'll do our clamshell side plank. Bend the knees and as you lift your hips up you open your knees and as you lower down bring the knees together. Great! Then release all the way down onto your right side, your right arm extended in front of you, left hand to your head and now rise up while lifting your left leg, thinking about touching your elbow to your knee and lower down. Go at your own pace here and try to lift from your obliques. Beautiful, release, shut break here to switch sides. Come into forearm plank and then to your side plank on the left side for our hip dips. Again, feel free to modify by keeping your knees on the mat. Next up, clamshell side plank. Ground your knees and open them up as you lift and close as you lower. Then lie down onto your left side and we'll do a couple more side crunches here to really target the side abs. Release and take this little break to make your way back into our forearm plank.
for our hip twists, bring your hips first to one side and then over to the other. Dip and dip. You can make this a bit easier by placing your knees to the mat. Release the knees down, ground your hands and lift up into downward facing dog. Paddling out your legs if that feels good today, but you can also give your arms and shoulders a break in child's pose here. Then come onto your back. And bring your left knee in, your hands to your head. Your right leg is extended, either lifted up or resting on the mat. And then we're gonna lift in threes. So do a crunch, but come up a bit higher each time for one, two, three, and lower. Again, one, two, three, and lower. Great, keep going. When it gets too hard to hold your leg up, feel free to release it to the mat, you will still feel your abs working. Great, we're nearly done. So let's do the other side. Bring your right knee in, left leg is extended and crunch up for one, two, three and lower. Again, crunch up for one, two, three and lower. Again, you can hold your left leg up to make it harder or release it to the mat to make it a little bit easier. Beautiful, short break before our last exercise, so hug your knees in for a moment. And then we'll do 45 seconds of our bicycle crunch. So let's go. Twist to left and right. Left, right. Left, right. Great, keep going. Halfway there, just a couple more. Well done, release. Extend your arms over your head and your legs along the mat to feel the stretch from your fingertips all the way down to your toes. And then make your way back up into a seated position. Let's finish today's class with taking one big inhalation while reaching arms up and exhale hands to your heart. Thank you so much for joining me today and I can't wait to see you again. Bye for now.